discuss how to modify columns in collections. So we have four different type of formulas for that. One is add columns and which help us to add a new column to the existing collection. And we have a drop, col drop columns. The drop columns will remove column from the collection which means we can able to create a new collection with dropping one column from the existing collection and also we can able to rename the columns from the existing collection and we can pass the data into the new collection and the same way when you are creating a new collection from the existing collection and you want to show few of the columns within that you can able to use the show columns formula so for that I'm going back to power apps so here I already added four columns in this screen so to add the columns to drop the columns to rename the columns and to show the columns and here i already created one collection with a sample data in this one i have few sample data uh, i created with a name called data collection and i added id name description and quantity the same way i have added data almost uh, four rows and if you want to see the existing collection you can able to see from here if you go here so we have total five rows when you click this one you can able to see the data here this collection contains description id name and quantity now we'll try to add a new collection and then we'll take this complete data and then add one more column to the collection so for that here in this add columns button in the i'm writing a clear collect formula to create a new collection I give a name as data collection one now I want to add column to this data collection and then I'll take a existing data collection and uh, then I'll give a name as price and here in the existing one we have a column name called quantity and I'm using that quantity and I want to multiply with 15 so I want to pass this data into this price in the new collection I'm closing this one we'll try this one when we click on this add column and if you come back to this collection the new collection will create because we have written clear collect formula to create a collection and then take the existing collection data and then adding a new column and then we are passing one formula here to get the data into it now when i click this collection and here we have an option to view the table so when you click on that one you can able to see the description which is existing one the id is there and the name is there now you can see the price and the quantity is 10 and we multiplied this quantity and then we pass it that value into a price now you can able to see each one and uh, which is multiplies with a 15 30 into 15 is 450 so this way you can able to add a new column to the new collection from the existing collection data using add columns and we'll try to drop any column from this data collection one so if you want to drop the column from there so we can able to use formula called a drop columns so for that i'm creating a new collection which is clear collect and then i'm creating a data collection 2 and now i am trying to drop the column from this data collection 1 and i don't want to show the quantity so i'll drop the quantity column from the data collection one and then i'll pass the data into data collection two so when we click this one if you click this drop column button and then it will create another collection which is data collection two if you click here if you go to a view uh, table now you can able to see the description id name and price and you cannot able to see that quantity column because we dropped it so this way we can able to drop the column from the existing collection and then pass that into the new collection but if you go to a data collection one your quantity will be available within that if you see that your quantity is still available in collection one but we pass it that data into data collection two and then we dropped one column from the existing collection so the same way we can able to use the rename columns as well so here in this on select event i'm writing one more collection which is writing with a clear collect uh, open parenthesis 
and then give a collection name which is data collection 3 and I'm trying to rename the column from the data collection I'll take the first one so earlier we have few columns here when you try to write this rename columns in the IntelliSense you can able to see here uh, uh, the first one is a source which is a data collection the first one I am taking and it is asking for the old col old column name and the new column so I'll take the old column which is a item and if you see then you'll get a lot of things but it is not showing the column names but we know that if you click this data collection now here we have an error so that's why it is not showing but still I know the column name I'm taking that as an item now I'm uh, you know give a new name as item name and then I'll close this one I'll close this one and when we close this one here we are seeing some error so which means the column name our uh, column does not exist if you go here to check the column name if you click this one so there is no item so we have a name and we have a quantity so instead of this item we can change to name so now we got the column name and we are changing that to an item name so this is a rename column formula so it it will rename the existing column now we'll see when we click this rename column button what happens when you go to this data collection 3 or if you want to see from here you can able to see now if you click this one data collection 3 now you can see the data which is description ID item name and quantity earlier this field name is name now we changed this one to item name this this way we can able to change the column names using rename columns now finally we have show columns for uh, show columns button here so here we'll write another collection which is with the clear collect I'm just giving a name as data collection 4 now we'll use this show columns when I open the parenthesis and here in the back we can we can able to see the IntelliSense but it is not showing because of this when I open this parenthesis this IntelliSense is showing now we do have the formula in the back end but the first uh, uh, parameter would be the data source now I'll take this one from the data collection one so in this we have multiple columns and then here when I uh, you know enter that comma now we can able to see the columns which are available so now I'll take the first one as name and then I want to show the ID now I want to take the price as well so these three columns I want to utilize in the new collection so I entered these three columns here so when we click this show columns now this the fourth uh, collection will create here when you go back and you can able to see the fourth collection is created which also contains five rows when we click this one now we can see the id name and price total three columns are available in the fifth collection now we'll come from the starting initially we have this data collection now then later we try to add one more column using add columns now we added the price and the same way uh, later we want to drop column from the collection so if you come here from this collection we drop the quantity column so now you can able to see that and then we have rename columns option uh, the using rename column formula so we renamed name to item name and then finally uh, we have used show columns and we have taken this data collection as a source collection and then we collected only three columns from the data collection one and then we have we have created a new collection with the data collection name four so this way we can able to perform the uh, modifying collection columns using this four formulas